In this video, I'll introduce the edge analog of vertex connectivity. It's called the edge connectivity of a graph. We'll go over some definitions, make a couple, make an observation, look at an example, and prove a couple theorems that'll be helpful. So let's take a look at some definitions. So just like with a, a vertex connectivity, we define uh, the edge analog of a vertex cut. That's an edge cut of a graph is a subset of the edges such that their removal disconnects the graph. And just like with vertex cuts, we'll say, or, uh, or a trivial graph. And uh, an edge cut of minimum cardinality is called a minimum edge cut. And this cardinality is the edge connectivity of G. Now we had kappa of G for vertex cuts, for edge cuts uh, and for edge connectivity, we'll have lambda of G, the smallest number of edges whose removal uh, results in either a disconnected graph or a trivial graph. So yeah, what about the trivial graph itself? Well, notice this has no edge cuts. Oops, uh, this has no edge cuts. Uh, and it's trivial itself, and so we define lambda of K1 So I want to make a quick observation here. Um, let uh, V be a vertex um, of a graph G with a degree of V equal to delta of G. So choose a vertex of a graph with minimum uh, degree. Uh, then the set of edges incident with V is a vertex cut. And in particular, this is always the case. Whenever I have a vertex V and I take its, its whole neighborhood here, lots of edges there, um, and I look at, at the neighborhood of V, if I remove all the edges between V and its neighborhood, so that is the set of all edges incident with V, that will, dis, uh, that will disconnect the graph. Um, and so that means that the edge connectivity is at most, um, since we have here an edge cut with delta of G edges, that means that the edge connectivity is at most delta of G. So uh, the connectivity of a graph G is at most delta of G. And delta of G is at its most when it's in a complete graph, or delta of G is always bounded above by n minus 1. So this gives us a quick bound on the edge connectivity of a graph, bounded above by min uh, minimum degree, bounded above by n minus 1. And we know that it's possible to get 0. So in terms of just where the uh, edge connectivity of a graph sits, it sits between uh, zero and the minimum degree. So a quick observation for you. Um, now remember with vertex connectivity, we also have this concept of, ver uh, of K connectedness. So we say a graph is K edge connected if the removal of any fewer than K edges uh, leaves a connected non-trivial Uh, so that is a, uh, that's the edge connectivity. And so, yeah, this would be um, a graph is K edge connected for each K um, less than or equal to the edge connectivity. Uh, let's look at an example of edge connectivity and this K edge connected concept. So let's take a look at this graph G here. Uh, now just uh, to kind of go over again and see the relationship to the vertex connectivity, uh, let's say u equal to u v1. This is a uh, vertex cut, right? If I remove the vertices u and v1, that'll disconnect the graph. 
and the removal of any one vertex, right? This is a non-separable graph. The removal of any one vertex will not disconnect the graph. And so in this case, cap of G is equal to two. So its connectivity is two. And what about its edge connectivity? So X equal to, notice if I remove E1, E2, and E3, uh, this is a edge cut. And if you just take a quick scan over the edges, this is actually a minimum edge cut. It is a minimum edge cut. And so uh, the edge connectivity of this graph is equal to three, so higher than the connectivity of the graph. Indeed, this makes sense because when I remove vertices from a graph, I remove at least one edge for each vertex I remove. Um, so we'll see later uh, more of these relationships between the edge connectivity and the vertex connectivity. In particular, we'll see theorem 4.4, which is one of uh, Whitney's inequalities, which says that indeed this is always the case the vertex connectivity is uh, at most the edge connectivity. We'll get to that later. All right, uh, let me jump back uh, a second. Oh yeah, so I can say something. Yeah, here's, this is the edge connectivity. Notice that this means the graph is, um, it's three edge connected because the removal of any two edges will not disconnect the graph or leave a tri uh, trivial graph. So it is three edge connected. It's also two edge connected because the removal of any one edge uh, will not disconnect the graph. And of course, it's one edge connected because, well, it's connected. So let me just say a couple things about uh, being K edge connected. So the one, uh, or let me start with two. The two edge connected graphs are the non-trivial connected <coughs> bridgeless graphs. Remember a bridge was an edge of a graph whose removal disconnected the graph. So that's an edge cut uh, of size one. So if it's two edge connected, this is saying there's no edge, cut, edge cuts of size one or fewer. And so that would mean the graph is bridgeless. Uh, the one edge connected graphs are the non-trivial connected graphs. Right, so being one edge connected just means that uh, removal of any uh, edge cuts of empty set edge cuts, so empty edge cuts, um, leaves a connected graph. So that would imply that the graph has to be connected to begin with. Um, okay. So let's see, where to go from here. Well, we have a theorem here that is sort of simple to state, takes a second to understand, but ends up being pretty useful. So this says that a non-trivial graph G is K edge connected, so the removal of any fewer than K edges will not disconnect the graph or leave a trivial graph, if and only if there exists no non-empty proper subset of the vertices such that the number of edges joining W and the rest of the vertices is less than K. So let's go ahead and prove this one. And I think along the way, as we prove this, uh, you'll understand more of what exactly this theorem is saying. So we'll start by, so first, assume that there exists no non-empty proper subset W, subset W of V of G. such that the number of edges joining W and V of G minus W is less than K. Uh, but we'll assume, so we're proving the backwards direction here, uh, but G is not K 
edge connect. So what this means is that there would be a set of edges uh, fewer than k whose removal would disconnect the graph. So there exists L edges with L uh, less than or equal to k minus 1 such that their deletion results in a disconnect. Uh, let's call it H. So H is then split into components, and let's just let H1 be one of the components. So here's H1 here, and here's the rest of, uh, of the graph. So this would be vertex set of H1 would be these vertices, and then here we'd have vertex set of H uh, minus vertex set of H1. And we removed L edges in order to do this. L edges. Um, but then, removing these L edges, um, right, but, but then we can find a proper subset, then vertex set of H1 is a proper subset such that uh, the number of edges between h uh, between h1 and vertex set of h1 minus h1 so yeah in particular my w is equal to the vertex set of h1 subset uh, is less than k right there's l edges between them um, and so that takes care of the backwards direction for the forward direction Oh, sorry, wait, maybe I said that backwards. No, that was the forward direction. Uh, we assume G was not. No, sorry, that was the backwards direction. That was the backwards direction. So for the forwards direction, I want to take a, a non-trivial graph G that's K edge connected. So let's take, so suppose... G is K edge connected. And suppose there exists a non empty proper subset W of B of G such that. Um, There are J edges between uh, W and B of G minus W, where J is less than K. Uh, but of course, this doesn't make sense. So if there if there were these this subset, then I would take W over here. I'd have vertex set of G minus W over here. There are only J edges here. And so the removal of these J edges would disconnect the graph, uh, which would show that then G is J edge connected. Or, sorry. Um, right. The, the, then the deletion of these. And the deletion of these j less than k edges results, right, that's what I wanted, in a disconnected graph. That is, g is not k edge connected. So that's a contradiction.
and that completes the proof of this little uh, this little theorem that ends up helping a little bit so the existence of these this proper subset and thinking of number edges between the proper subset and the rest of the graph this is equivalent equivalent to being k edge connected is this condition all right so let's see one more theorem here and that is for the edge connectivity of the complete graph So since um, the minimum degree of Kn is equal to n minus 1, certainly we could, uh, as I mentioned before, we could remove the edges incident with one vertex. Um, and so we have that the edge connectivity of Kn is certainly at most uh, minimum degree, which is n minus 1 in this case. Um, oh, by the way, we might as well assume, we can assume, uh, I'll say here, since edge connectivity of K1 is equal to 0, assume n is greater than or equal to 2. Right, so all we have to now show is that any edge cut, so maybe I'll say claim, uh, claim, if x is any edge cut of kn with n greater than or equal to 2, then size of x is at most, um, or sorry, is at least n minus 1. Right, so we can if I want again, if I want to show the edge connectivity of a graph, I need to establish two things. I need to say that there is some edge cut um, of size n minus one that disconnects the graph. Pick any vertex and remove the edges around it, and we have an edge cut of size n minus one. Then I also have to show that um, that any edge cut has at least that many edges. In it. Okay, so let x be an edge cut. And let um, G1 yeah we can say that kn minus X then kn minus X has two components. And let's call them G1 and G2. So let uh, G1 have border K, then G2 has border um, and minus K. So here's my two components, G1 and G2. G1 has k, uh, k vertices, G2 has n minus k vertices. Since this was a complete graph, the edges in between these two, that's x, right? x are the edges in between these, these are the guys that I removed. Uh, and so we can say that the order of x is um, n times n minus k, since this was a complete graph. And then I'd like to find a bound on this, right? I'd like to say this is at least n minus 1. So we know k is greater than or equal to 1. There's at least one vertex here. n minus k is greater than or equal to 1. And so if I, say, multiply uh, k minus 1 times n minus k minus 1, this will be greater than or equal to 0. And then we can multiply this out. So this would be k times n minus k minus 1 minus n minus k minus 1. That'll be greater than or equal to 0. 
And I'm just going to focus on this n minus k part with this k. So that's k times n minus k minus k um, minus uh, plus k. I'm going to pull this negative k out. Plus k minus n minus 1. That's greater than or equal to 0. These guys cancel off. And I finally have k times n minus k. That's the number of edges between the two components is greater than or equal to n minus 1 which is exactly what I wanted to show, that the number of edges you had to remove was at least n minus 1. So lambda of, of kn equals exactly n minus 1. And that finishes the problem. All right, that's it for this video. See you next time.